It all starts here, amidst the sea of metal and iron and a speaker level that goes up to 11. But you better get here early. How early do you get up? Today, 4.20. 4.20 a.m., yeah. Do you ever hit your alarm? Uh, I try not to. I have three alarms set, and then I have a second one set across the room, so I have to get up. And once he has risen, there is no slowing down. Go, J. Mark. You know that left set. Get your feet set. Oddly enough, I was 12 years old when I knew what I wanted to do. I remember in fifth grade, I had to write a, some type of thing for school about what you wanted to be when you grew up. And uh, oddly enough, mine was a strength and conditioning coach when most kids were trying to be Michael Jordan or a football player or something like that. The job runs in the family. My uncle's the uh, head strength coach at at The Ohio State University. And actually my brother kind of followed in my footsteps as well. He's a strength coach at the University of Arkansas. So we actually worked together for three years before I came here. Yes, he said Arkansas. The same Arkansas that hosted Matt Campbell's Rockets in 2015 and lost. And Toledo pulls off the upset. I wasn't surprised that they brought that brand of football and they played well and they played Toledo tough football. Um, but it was definitely kind of funny when I got here, first meeting I had, I told him, you know, my background and I said, hey, I don't want to hear about that game last year. I'm a, I'm a rocket now and that's all we're worried about. And it's Bechet's commitment to the young men he works with that sets him apart. He always makes a point to, to let us know how he feels about us, you know, that he loves us all as a team. You know, it's not just, like a lot of people, it's just business. It's just strictly business, but he actually genuinely cares about his players, you know what I'm saying? It's not just, I'm here for the money and I'm leaving. No, he actually cares about the players and the success they have beyond football. I would say he's a family man. He cares about the players, uh, treats them like his own. Um, he just goes through the day, just helps out everybody that needs help. They don't really care how much you know till they know how much you care. You know, it's really big and it's the truth. Because you come in day one and you, you, know, you start to build those relationships with guys. And I treat everybody the same, whether you're a walk-on or a backup or you're the starter, it doesn't matter. To me, everybody's the same because we need everybody. But even with all of that goodwill, there is still that wake-up call before sunrise. Is there any point where you hate him just a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely. Um, I think it's wrong to make us wake up that early, but <laughs> it uh, gets us better. We had a workout. We had a morning team run at 550. So yeah, so everybody's pr pretty much asleep. Uh, it's dark outside, so you, then you just gotta snap back to reality. And you, I mean, you, it's not hard to lose your love. You know, you, you love it that much. You you learn to cope with it. <laughs> You're okay with that, though. Yeah, they. You know what? They should feel that way. You know, and, but they should embrace that because they're doing something that they want to do. You know what I mean? It's a grind. Yes, but of course, at the end of the day, they're playing football. You know what I mean? And some of these guys really, really get a great opportunity and a platform for the next level. You know what I mean? And if they don't go to the next level as far as the NFL, this game, this environment, what we do will help set them up for success in life. You know what I mean? Because the same things apply. You're going to have adversity. You're going to have up and downs. Not everything's going to go your way. And how you respond ultimately defines who you are as a man. Work on three. One, two, three. Work.